<laughs> you know, Christmas is just a week away from today. That's right. And if you're one of the uh, procrastinators <coughs> who hasn't finished your holiday shopping yet, don't worry. Yeah, we've got some of the best deals out there for under $50. Joining us today by satellite with some secrets to finding that perfect last-minute gift just in the nick of time is stylist and personal shopper Michelle Ammon. Good morning, Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Well, hey, so you haven't done any shopping? Um, some. Uh... Well, anyway, so how, what do you got for us? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the biggest procrastinator. That's why I am here for you. Okay, thank you. Um, we're going to need all the help we can get. And, you know, we're, we're heading into the last weekend before Christmas. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's true. Right. And and my, my first rule of gifting is give the people what they want. It may not be what you want, but it's what they want. So you have to watch. You have to listen for clues. Know your trends. Mm-hmm. This year, hot, 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 technology. So that's all the MP3 players, iPods. Here's a great gift, and wait do you hear the price. Okay. This is from Staples. This is from Staples. Uh, this is the Omnitech mini pod speaker. It syncs up with MP3 players and iPods. Just $9.99. Woohoo! Love it. I'm doing my deal dance. This is my deal dance. $9.99. What a deal. deal. Isn't yeah. that great? That's a great stocking it's fantastic. stuffer. Exactly. And uh, they also have a new holiday center online. And what's really cool about this is everything is categorized. So you can find technology for kids or stocking stuffers or last minute gifts under $50. And that's at, you can go to staples.com forward slash holiday savings. It's a, it's a great user friendly site. I, I was going to ask, is there a list of, uh, for people like um, the babysitter or, or people that, you know, you want to get them a little something, but Right. Yeah, yeah. Where, where do we go with that? Okay. Well, a good rule of thumb uh, is food. Food items are always appropriate. And this way, you, if it's at a good price and you find something you like, you stock up so you're never embarrassed and without a gift if you're going to a party or you have a babysitter or something like that. I'm a huge popcorn fan, so this is one of my favorites. This is Orville Redenbacher's Poppycock. It's a timeless favorite. It comes in a great holiday canister. Almonds, pecans, glazed popcorn, come on. I mean, this is the official snack of the holiday season. And it's really a great go-to gift you can avoid the crowds buy it online or if you're out you can almost go anywhere target Walgreens most grocery stores that carry food it's a great stocking stuffer or last-minute gift or as a breakfast food like this morning when I've eaten the whole bowl <laughs> oh that works well you mentioned the internet a couple of times is it too late now to order online and still get delivery in time for Christmas absolutely not you have a few more days left and uh, uh, there's a national poll by the, uh, the National Gift Federation. 77% of people are giving gift cards this year. You can also get virtual gift cards. That's another way to go. But I have a really great gift card here that I love because it's personalized. It's not just generic. This is from American Express. And what's great about their gift cards are there are no fees after purchase and the funds never expire. That's key. And you can personalize it. You can choose a great design like this one from artist Peter. Max and put your own custom message on it. It's really the no fail gift because they're getting something that they can use and because it's personalized they know you put some thought into it. Absolutely. Well, some great last minute gift ideas. Bill and I are sitting here taking notes because we got to get out and finish our shopping. Happy holidays, Thank you, Michelle. Michelle. Happy holidays. Thank you. Thank you. I like the popcorn because yeah. that's not something you would get yourself. You wouldn't you wouldn't buy that. And you can keep that as an as a extra gift. And then if you don't give it, you can eat it. It's a backup plan. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Well,